60% of marketers say that inbound marketing, like SEO, is their highest quality source of leads and revenue. But here's the thing, search engine optimization doesn't have to be complicated and you don't have to pay thousands of dollars each month to have an agency manage it for you. Hi, I'm Scott Redgate and I'm an online marketing coach and in my 12 years working in digital marketing, I've worked on both the agency side and the in-house side. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a process that agencies charge a lot of money for. We're going to learn how to outsmart your competitors and get a leg up in organic search by using their own SEO keywords against them. But before we do, I have something that I want to give you to help you reach your goals this year, and that's my free seven-day online marketing jumpstart PDF. You can get it at scottredgate.com jumpstart. If you're looking for simple tips that can get your business results, this is a great document. It's completely free. It's quick. It's simple bullets. And after you complete the steps outlined in this doc, not only will your website have a solid foundation to generate more leads or get more revenue, but you'll have a lot more confidence that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an agency. All right, let's dive in. A critical component of SEO in driving organic traffic to your website is keyword research. In my online marketing jumpstart PDF, I outline a process for how you can do keyword research, but today I'm going to show you how to use one of the cheapest SEO tools and that's SpyFu to see the exact keyword phrases that your competition is targeting. SpyFu is a keyword research and competitive analysis tool that is one of the most cost effective SEO tools in the market. And no, SpyFu is not paying me to say this. Some other tools like SEMrush or Bright Edge that you can use to do what we're about to talk about, but those tools cost a lot more money, so that's why I recommend SpyFu. It gets the job done. All right, so we're gonna use SpyFu to identify the keywords that your competitors are targeting in organic search. And to run through an example, I want to find a business that we can use and then we can plug into SpyFu. So I just searched for apparel for working out and I saw some ads and then scrolled past Dick's Sporting Goods and Amazon and Target. And I just saw this company right here, barbellapparel.com. And so we're gonna use them for the example that we're gonna run through with SpyFu. So I'm gonna click through to Barbell Apparel's website and I'm gonna take the URL and I'm going to then go into SpyFu. So this is the dashboard of SpyFu. So my subscription to SpyFu is less than $10 per month, but I got in on a special discount that they had. Some of their plans are as cheap as $20 or less per month. And so when you're inside of SpyFu, what you can do is in this section right here where it says enter a domain, URL or keyword, we're going to paste in the URL of the website that we want to analyze. And so in this example, let's say that you are starting a business uh, where you sell uh, workout apparel. And so barbellapparel.com is one of your competitors. So instead of doing a full keyword research analysis starting from scratch, you wanna see what type of content does well for barbell apparel and it's gonna load up all of SpyFu's data about this domain. And so we're not gonna go through each and every section, but you can see that they have some estimates for their organic keywords and the monthly SEO traffic that they're receiving. And then they have this section right here, which is their organic traffic versus paid traffic breakdown. I don't find this to be super accurate. But the section that we're gonna go to is going down, and we're going to go to the top pages report. So these are the top pages in terms of the pages that are ranking for the most SEO keywords and the pages that are receiving the most estimated traffic. So I'm gonna select view all top pages and this is gonna give us an idea for the top pages that are on their website. And so if you're starting a business from scratch with, you know, in this example, workout apparel, this is gonna give you a good idea as far as how this website, barbellapparel.com is structured. And so maybe you're deciding how you want to name specific categories or subcategories on your website. Uh, you can use this list to see, you know, how does this website have it structured so that you're not just starting from scratch. 
So now that we're on this top pages report, what we want to do is we want to find a page. So let's take, for example, let's go ahead and do men's workout hoodies. And you can see here, um, this is the estimated number of SEO clicks that they're receiving per month. And then next to it, it says view 134 keywords. So this page might be ranking for a lot more than 134 keywords, but this is what SpyFu has registered in their database for keywords that receive traffic or have some type of estimated search traffic, and uh, they are reporting back on 134 of them. So let's go ahead and click. And SpyFu is going to give us the results for um, the positions that this website has, so what they're ranked. So for example, with workout hoodies, they are ranked in position 12, which is a decrease of three spots from the last time Spy Food crawled. Um, the estimated volume or the estimated search traffic for this is 1,000, and I believe that's per month. And then there's an estimate for how many SEO clicks they get from ranking in that position. Um, and typically these tools use a formula for uh, what position they're ranking in, um, and then they multiply it by the volume or how much traffic is getting uh, searched for um, for that particular term. So then there's some other columns, you know, keyword difficulty, organic clicks, etc. So what I like to do is I like to sort position from high to low. So this is going to sort um, from keywords that they're ranking at the top of Google for uh, to keywords that they're ranking, you know, well past the first page for. And what I also like to do is and keep in mind is to exclude any keyword that contains this company's brand name in it. So for example, barbell hoodies is not a keyword that we're gonna spend a lot of effort to rank for um, because you have very little chance to do it as Google is trying to rank the most relevant result possible and they are the most relevant result for that search. So let's scroll down a little bit here. So you've got men's lifting hoodies, that's a, that's a good keyword. Men's workout hoodie, men's workout sweaters, etc. So what you can do with this list is you can take a look at some of the keywords that they are ranking for, and then as you're creating the content for your website, or so if you're writing the category text for your website, make sure to include some of these keywords in your text, and you don't need to go overboard um, to help you get a chance to rank for some of these search terms. Full disclosure, if their domain has been around for a long time, or they're really established in the space, or they have a ton of backlinks pointing to their domain, there are some instances where you're not gonna have a chance to rank for some of the keywords that they've earned through years of hard work. So keep that in mind. So that's what you can do in this example um, for this e-commerce website. But something else that I like to do with SpyFu, especially if you're creating resource or blog content, is you can isolate a particular section of the website to see what types of topics that company is writing for. So for Barbell Apparel, what I noticed was for their blog, um, it's in a subfolder of slash blogs slash. So what you can do in SpyFu is you can come up here and with the domain, you can type in slash blogs slash. And so now this is going to isolate the pages that it reports on for the blog content that they are creating. So this is another really cool thing. If you're just starting a blog, what you can do is you can see what are those blog posts that one of my competitors are doing um, and writing that are having a lot of success. Scan the list and see what's working for your competitor. And again, if it's a competitor that you have a chance to outrank, see what makes their post good and then make yours better. So in this example right here, um, they have a blog post about the best five exercises for quad growth. So you can go in here and you can see the different types of keywords that they're ranking well for and then create a post that's even better than theirs. And yeah, keep some of these keyword phrases in mind as you're writing your text, as you're creating headlines um, so that you have a chance to outrank them with your better content piece. I hope that process was helpful for you. And if you're looking for more money-saving marketing tips, visit scottredgate.com or subscribe to this channel to watch more videos. Thank you so much. Take care.